Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. I'd like to take just about five minutes and talk about the 1CNC machining templates and how they can save you a lot of time when programming parts. So what is a machining template? Well, every time you perform a machining operation like profiling or pocketing, 1CNC is going to automatically record your parameters. Uh, those parameters are stored as machining templates. And the idea is that later on, if you're going to, let's say, pocket another part, you can use that template and it will automatically populate all the fields for you, saving a lot of time. So here's a real simple part. And all I'm going to do is hop into pocketing. And let's grab that boundary right there. And what I'm going to do is first show you that over here on the left, here's some templates that are already there. We're not going to use those right now. We're going to just create some tool path here. I'm going to go with uh, the speeds and feeds really don't make too much difference right now. I'm just putting in anything. We'll use an end mill. Let's give it a diameter of, uh, let's give it a diameter of a half of an inch. Let's give it a flute length of an inch. We're going to say all that's fine. So here's our part, our depth. I'm going to just snap the bottom of the pocket there to extract the depth. Our clearance planes look good. I just want to just really just do anything here just to get us some tool path. Let's helical into the into the pocket. Step over looks fine. I'm going to leave 10 thousandths on the wall. I don't need an extra finish pass on this. So I'm going to turn that off. Let it generate some tool path. All right, so what's happened now, 1CNC has recorded all the parameters that I used for this pocket operation. Let's take this a step further. Let's profile this, and we're going to climb cut. And same thing, I'll use the same type of tool. Let's give it a spindle speed. Give it a feed rate. Uh, let's, well, let's make the tool a little longer than that, inch and a half. And let's give it a diameter here of, let's say, 0.5. We'll use a half inch for that. That looks fine. And the depth, I believe, was minus 250. But again, I'll just snap the bottom of the pocket there. OK, all that looks good. That's fine. I'm not going to leave any material on the sides. I don't need an extra finish pass on that. And let's arc in and let's arc off. I'm going to say 45 degrees worth of an arc. Let's make those the same. OK, so I just performed a profile operation. Now, again, what's happened is 1CNC has created templates for those. So let's take a look at another part. I'm going to take this part here. By the way, 1CNC is a multiple document application. You can have multiple files opened at the same time. Here I have two files open. It, which is really neat. You can pop back and forth between those. But here's a brand new part. And let's say we want to pocket this. So we're going to go into pocketing. I'm going to grab that pocket. And if we look over here on the left, notice there's a, a new template here, right up here. This is what I used last time. If I click that, if I just click that, what happens now is that all my parameters from my previous machining operation are loaded here. And all I really need to do is just make sure that my depth is correct. All right, because this is a deeper pocket, but it's going to use the exact same parameters that we used before. So I'll click next on that. That looks good. All that looks fine. And what this does is this saves you from having to go in there and put in new values. OK, so let's go next on that. Finish, and there's the pocket operation for that. Same with profiling. If I go to profile and I grab that shape there, let's climb cut that. That looks good and we'll come over here take a look at the the uh, templates and here's the template that was saved previously so if I all I have to do is just click that and it's going to populate this with all the new values now the reason why this doesn't look like it's changed is because one CNC by default is going to show you the values that were previously used but if this was a week later a month later three hours later and I had programmed other parts these values would be different and as soon as I click on this it's going to populate that with the same values and again you do want to make sure that your Z depth is changed and that's what I've done there I just did that and we'll just push through there and so there you go you so machining templates they get stored automatically. Let's bring this back up again for just a second. Let's go back into pocketing. 
and then I'm going to end this video because it's getting a little bit too long. These templates get stored automatically, and I believe it's 20, maybe 25 of them get stored. And then what happens is, as you start making more machining operations, these templates get overwritten. All right, so that way you don't end up with thousands and thousands of templates and overhead. Having said that, you can make a template permanent just by right clicking on that. And if you were uh, to click this option called save, what that's going to do is give you the ability to give it a different name if you want to. I'll leave the name alone and we'll click OK on that. And what that does is it puts it under here under favorites and that way this will never be deleted. This will never be overwritten. So the really nice thing about all of this is that if you're using different materials, different depths of cut, different types of tooling, you can have templates for all of those and you can make a very nice library for that. Okay, templates apply to everything, pockets, profiling, just about everything you can do within one CNC, you can make a template. Okay, hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps out and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.